Members of the Khoi ethnic minority in northern Cambodia are entangled in a three-year land conflict over a China-backed sugar plantation. The Chinese company Ruifeng has stepped up its activities in the area over the past few weeks, clearing land and forest to make way for the $360 million plantation. Regardless of what we do, the Chinese company will take all of the land. They say that what they've already taken isn't enough for them. If the company gets all the land, then how can we survive? Brevihia province authorities are protecting the interests of the company. All these villagers can do is protest peacefully. We're demanding a solution. If they don't settle with us, we have no means to survive. They say we're protesting because others incited us. No one incited us to protest, only our stomach does. If we don't make demands, we lose. We have nothing else left. About 100 local villagers are sleeping in the forest to prevent further bulldozing. The protesters have warned provincial authorities that if they don't intervene, the protests will continue. The Chinese company and its development destroy the natural resources and land area of local residents. They are importing new culture and making residents, the ethnic minorities in particular, lose their existing culture, traditions and customs. The minorities are also losing a proper means to earn a living. More than 500 Khoi families depend on the forest land and rice paddy for their survival.